Well, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Boat Art Kiko's. I'm Josh and I appreciate you guys clicking on this video. Today, I thought I'd do a little video about a beginner's guide to getting goats. I wanted to show you some insights, maybe some things you ought to look for if you're thinking about getting into goats. We've been raising goats for over 10 years now, so we might have a few tips that possibly could help you out. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, don't miss a video, ring the notification bell and stay up with us for what we got going on with goats. We got a lot of videos about raising goats and uh, let's just get into this video. So for one thing, what do you want to get into goats for? What's your purpose? Are you wanting to clear your land? Are you wanting to raise uh, meat? Are you wanting to do milk? Are you wanting to show goats? There's gotta be a purpose behind what you're doing. Maybe you just want them for pleasure. There's all types of goats for every situation you might want to get into. Here on our farm, we raise Kiko goats. It's a meat breed. So we got over 80 nannies and uh, we have right now over a hundred and something babies on the ground. And uh, our purpose when I got into goats was to clear my property. Did I start off with Kiko? No. I made mistakes by going and buying goats from a cell barn and didn't really know what I was getting into, but I wanted to clear my property. And that served a purpose for me. So I cleared the property. And as I was clearing the property, I learned a lot about goats the hard way. So when you get into goats, the first thing you gotta have is a good quality fence. And I'm gonna tell you, you don't wanna waste your money on buying something you think might hold a goat. Go ahead and buy that goat wire that's made for goats. Goats are curious animals. They'll learn to get through it. They'll learn to get their head stuck. So buying that right type of fence, setting that infrastructure is your first biggest accomplishment you wanna do when raising goats. I wanna show you a fence that we have here. It's called the Stay Tough. And uh, it's very good. It's got a lot of spacing. So you can see down here at the bottom, it starts out very small, three inches, three inches, three. And then it'll go up to four inches. And then as it gets taller, it gets a little wider. So these goats cannot get their head stuck in this. This is a knotted fence. And it's a tight fence. So this is the fence that we go with when we install brand new fencing on our property. When we started out, we made the mistake of buying cheaper fence, and that has cost us in the long run. It's gotten goat's head stuck. It has caused a problem. And starting off, you just wanna start off with the correct fencing that's made for goats. So a new thing that we added this year is hot wire. Hot wire is a great investment. It'll keep your goats honest, it'll keep your dogs honest, and it's a great way to keep up with maintaining that fence because goats will push, lean, and can tear up a fence real easy. Here's the hot wire we've been adding. And just one single strand of hot wire can keep your goats off your fence. It's an easy setup once you get it going, and we really encourage if you're gonna get into goats, you're gonna start this at hot wire. We're going around this whole perimeter and adding hot wire at the bottom and some places at the top. We wanna to keep our goats off our fence. We wanna keep our dogs honest and hot wire is the way to go. So like I told you in the beginning, the reason why I got into goats was to help clean my property. I wanna show you an adjacent property to us that has that does does not have goats and I want to show you what goats can do for your property they'll clean it up as high as they can reach and right now it's just now starting to green up so it's hard to tell but I want to show you this underbrush that the goats just love that's what they'll go after first they'll go after that brush that foliage and then they'll chase the weeds so over here at an adjacent property as you can see this place is a a thicket it's got plenty of undergrowth and if our goats could get to it they would eat that up first so our place with our goats they've cleared it from the top down as high as they can reach so what type of goat are you want to raise are you want to raise a small goat or a big 
meat type goat. There's all types of sizes of goats and you can get whatever you want to fit your type of farm. We raise a Kiko goat and it's a meat goat. They're developed from a dairy goat and they have great mothering abilities and they're just a great goat to raise. We like an all around type of goat and that's what the Kiko is for us. It's developed for hardiness and that's what they do for us. They are a hardy goat, tough as nails, and we like to raise them. We always are trying to develop a better goat. We're trying to better our herd. So whatever you're interested in, I guarantee you there's a goat out there that'll fit your farm and what you're wanting to do. If it's from a hobby farm all the way to a meat type production, milk production, goats are out there for you. So when buying goats, you want to get more than just one. Goats are a herd animal and they want to be with other goats. So when you're making a purchase on buying goats, consider buying more than just one. You don't want to buy one and it be wondering or wanting to know where other goats are at. Goats like to be with other goats and buying multiple goats will help you out. So when you decide to get goats, do your homework. Research, look up what goat is best for you. Just learn, learn as much as you, you can learn about the goats before you get into buying them. One thing you wanna do is do a farm visit. Go see the goats, how they're raised. Go ask questions, go to the farm, see the producer, see what they're doing, see if the goats will work for you like they work for them. Learn as much as you can learn about raising goats. We encourage people to come and do farm visits. We will help them out as much as we can and give our knowledge that we've learned in the process of raising goats over the years. Maybe something that we've done, maybe this video will help you out. So I encourage going and doing a farm visit and learning as much as you can learn about goats before getting into them. So some benefits of raising goats is weed control. You can clean up your pastures, get that underbrush like I showed you earlier under control, and you can really see a difference in your pastures as the goats graze it. We use rotational grazing, so what that means is we have different size paddocks and we rotate our goats. When the grass starts jumping and the goats are grazing heavily on this, we'll use it to use this pasture for so many days and then we'll rotate to another pasture. So a benefit to raising goats is getting better quality pastures, cleaning up the underbrush and taking care of your land. So goats are used for other things too besides cleaning up your pastures. Goats, the goats that we raise are meat goats. So goat meat is one of the number one meats consumed in America. Over 60% of goat meat is imported to the United States. So meat goat is very high in demand. The prices are up for kids ranging over $4 a pound for goat kids. High quality, good goats. We raise meat goats, so we eat the goat meat. Goat meat is very good, it's nutritional. It's a very uh, lean meat and we like it. We put sausage, breakfast sausage, goat meat and we cook it all kinds of different ways besides the meat goats are used for cheese milk there's all sorts of things that you can use goats for so one of my favorite times of the year is kidding and we have a lot of kids on the ground right now we have over a hundred babies on the ground and uh, we're just thankful for the good mamas that we have to put these kids on the ground and raise them up and get them ready so the babies are fun, they're exciting, and that's what it's all about. It's trying to raise a better goat, and that's what we're doing. We're trying to develop a better goat every year. If we're not doing that, we're not doing our job and trying to better our goat production. So goats are grazers. They like to roam and eat. They'll eat and walk, and you want to be able to have good quality forage for them, and that's what we do. We plant goat pastures for our goats in the summertime. We have several different types of pastures. Right now they're chasing a ryegrass that just popped up. 
And in the summertime, we'll have some Lespediza, Bermuda grass. They'll chase the weeds at first, but then they'll go after the grasses. And we try to plant different types of pastures for our goats. The prairie grass is what we have here. It's a mix of grasses and we have blue stem. So there's several different varieties of pastures that we have when we rotate our goats. Goats are browsers and they want to be able to eat several different things. So we just don't confine them to just one grass or just a couple different grasses. We like to have a variety of pastures for them to graze. So in the winter time when the grass goes dormant and there's no nutritional value in it, you got to have something for them to eat. So we get hay from a local hay guy here and he takes very good care of us. He, he raises quality hay and that's been the big difference in our nannies this year. We went with a great round road that we keep out 24 seven. And then we have square bales of hay that we can put out. We use alfalfa and then we use hay grazer. So we rotate those out and we feed those. So having a good quality hay in the winter time is gonna benefit you. You wanna make sure that hay is good in nutrition and not just a low grade hay. So that's why we go with the guy that we know and trust and we make sure our hay is good. It's better at our goats, but you gotta have something for them to feed in the winter time. Whether you're raising five goats or over a hundred goats like us, you gotta have quality hay. So having goats, you wanna be able to have something for them to get in out of the weather. They don't like the rain. This right here will help as a wind block. And if the weather gets bad, they can get under it. These are homemade shelters that we made ourselves. It was a cow hay ring that we cut in half and repurposed some tin. As you can see, it's a simple shelter. And the goats can utilize this when needed. Shelters, barns, and overhangs is a good thing that you want to have for goats to get in out of the weather. Our goats, on normal nights, they sleep outside. They don't even use the hut. But having something for them to get into will help with keeping them safe, keeping them healthy, and help out in the long run. It don't take much to keep a goat happy. You can see these huts are like the ones that I've made. These are underground tanks that we cut in half. And this right here is what was once a carport, but I converted it into a goat barn. It's got siding. It's got a lean-to on it. Just something little as that will help you in protecting your goats and keeping them out of the elements. So whenever you're raising goats, you always want to have medicine on hand. I want to show you what we have. Get out here in the sunlight. And we have a bucket that we carry with us and we've got all types of stuff in it. So we have some power punch, some Spectre Guard, for scouring, we have paste for the babies if they need it. We have antibiotics. We have warmer if needed. A couple of different kinds. We have red cell. So you want to make sure you got something on hand just in case you need it. We carried this bucket with us and uh, if we need it, we got it. We don't want to have to run to a vet. We don't want to have to run to the store. We got everything on hand that we might need if a goat needs something. 
So when you have goats, you want to be able to protect them. So what we use is livestock guard dogs. That's our form of protection. Since adding these dogs, we haven't lost a single goat to a predator. Predators are thick in this area. They run up and down the creeks and they stay close by to where we can hear them at night. Our dogs do an excellent job of protecting their herd. And we've got a young pup that we're training to be an up and coming livestock guard dog. So there's several different forms of protection you can use. You can use llamas, donkeys, whatever suits you, but ours is dogs. Dogs are a great way to protect your goats. These dogs are working dogs. They stay out here with the goats. They stay with them all the time. If the goats go out, the dogs go out. They're up at night protecting. If they hear a coyote, they're going and alerting and protecting the perimeter of this place. If something gets in here, these dogs will attack and take care of their flock. So raising good quality livestock guard dogs is the way to go. And that's what we're doing. We're trying to raise a good dog. A good livestock guard dog that you can depend on. Mo is one of our best. He protects his goats and he's a great dog. You want to make sure that you've got fresh, clean water for them. You can see we got ponds that they can drink out of, but we always keep fresh, clean water for our goats and our livestock guard dogs. So like I said earlier, the whole family can get involved in raising goats. They're not a great big animal, but you do need something that you can get them in and you can work them, you can look after them. And this right here is our working pins. So we have some panels set up. We got an area where we can catch them in. And then over here, a set of pins to where if we need to, we can get in here and we can work our goats. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe there's something there that helped you out. Maybe there's a tip in there that'll help you better your goat operation. These are things that we've learned in raising goats over the years. And I just thought I'd put a video out there that might help you. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you're not subscribed, go down. Click that subscribe button. We got lots of goat content. We're going to be making more videos. And I really appreciate you guys watching. And we'll catch you on the next one.